beginning on January 20th, the Vice President-elect Harris and I, we're going to do everything in our power to ease the burden of health care on you and your families. President-elect Joe Biden defending the Affordable Care Act today, saying more than 20 million Americans could lose coverage if it is repealed. Good evening and thank you for watching KDK News at 630. Biden's push comes the same day the Supreme Court hears arguments about a case challenging the landmark legislation. As political editor John Delano reports, this decision could impact millions of Pennsylvanians. Passed in 2010, some Republicans have tried for years to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Unable to do that, they're now trying to get the Supreme Court to repeal it for them. You know, there's 5.2 million Pennsylvanians that have a pre-existing condition. It's easy to forget how the ACA affects most Pennsylvanians, besides seniors with cheaper prescription drugs. You know, 89,000 young adults have been able to stay on their parents' health insurance coverage. And, you know, there's 966,000 Pennsylvanians that could lose health insurance altogether. And then the jobs at Pittsburgh's medical institutions. The Affordable Care Act has actually lowered the amount that institutions have had to cover, and that's allowed them to have healthier bottom lines. And this is especially important as we see that they're major employers moving forward because that allows them to continue to grow, continue to hire people. And Given what's at stake, Pitt Law School Dean Amy Wildermuth, who clerked at the Supreme Court, thinks justices may avoid striking down the whole law. I think that result is highly unlikely. Instead, the court could rule the litigants did not have the right to bring this lawsuit because there's no injury. There is a statement in the law that says individuals must buy insurance, but there's no penalty to it. There's no nothing that happens after somebody doesn't buy insurance. And so the question is, is that really an injury? The specific issue is whether Congress has the constitutional power to require all Americans get health insurance. The court could say Congress does not, but still let stand the rest of the ACA's protections. Because I think the Affordable Care Act will continue to exist as people know it today. Of course, nobody can predict the Supreme Court, especially this one. A decision is expected by early spring. John Delano, KDKA News.